The moment has finally arrived, Paul Throat. Only a few days late. Well, it... <laughs> I know. I know. Uh, I don't even know why they do this, to be honest. But whatever. I will say, aside from moment five in the list of features it contains, mm-hmm. well, it's a long list of small things, I, I think is the way to put it. Yeah. Um, there's actually a bigger thing occurring in the world right now, our world, which is uh, like all these co-pilot updates. Have you, did you look at like the sheer number of things that occurred yesterday? Yeah. Um, Microsoft for many years, and you know, they still do, but they, there's a Microsoft 365 blog. And I've talked about how hard it was keeping up with the news at Microsoft 365 every month, right? And for for a two to three year period, it turned into what's happening with Microsoft Teams and the other stuff, you know, but they announced that they're going to do this now for Copilot for Microsoft 365 specifically. They're going to have a monthly blog just listing all the new stuff that happens every month. And I'm telling you, for the next year, it's going to be a long list every month, I think. Mm-hmm. It's weird. Yeah. yeah. So I, what- there is... There was the OneDrive announcement yesterday, correct? Where it's coming to OneDrive, but it's only for enterprise. Commercial, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. It will come to, it's coming. It it will. It's coming, you know. Whether they they like it. Yeah, it's coming like a train. You're on the track or you're not, I guess. Uh, It's kind of like a trolley problem, but we're all just on the track and doesn't matter which track is chosen, we're still there. Right. There's no guy twirling his mustache. It's just a bunch of people tied at the track. Mm Mm-hmm. Hmm. Except you're on both tracks all the time. These metaphors are getting a little strained, but <laughs> <fair enough. laughs> it's okay. It's really just one track at the end of the day. There we go. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I just know we're stuck. Yeah. Well, yeah. I think we can all agree to that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, the other fun thing that's happening which is, again, not shocking to anybody. OpenAI slash Microsoft are being sued by everybody now. By Publications, everybody. Elon Musk, everybody's suing them. So, yep. yep. Well, you do, I don't know if you saw my little story yesterday. I think it was yesterday. Uh, it's been a long week. Um, someone emailed me from the Netherlands and said, hey, I, I don't know if you know this, but uh, you're the top story, your top publication cited for this particular topic. And the topic was Mozilla reorganizing around Firefox and AI. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I, I mean, obviously as a content creator, I've sort of thought about this stuff. I, you know, I wonder, you know, you don't know usually that you're getting sucked into uh, AIs or whatever. Yeah. But anyway, it's this thing's called perplexity AI. They, they actually have a, you know, one of the beautiful, uh, sorry to segue here a little bit, but uh, one of the beautiful mm, complaints or whatever about the, you know, New York Times suing open AI was that, it's not like anyone's ever going to use open AI to read the New York times. Mm -hmm. And I was like, "Uh, not maybe this second, but it's not hard to imagine this coming. So this particular it's perplexity. I think it's perplexity.ai. They actually have a newsfeed and this is where my thing came from. And it was just a, uh, you, you know, goes out and grabs seven or eight sources, throws together a rewording, and then here's your topic. And, um, you know, so Mozilla reorged. Okay. So there were seven, uh, there was eight, eight, yeah, eight paragraphs in the story, seven publications cited. Mine constituted the first two paragraphs. They didn't even mix and match throughout the story. They just like, we'll, we'll still from here, here, we'll still from here, here, you know. And the thing I compared this to, so I didn't know what would this look like? Like, you know, mm-hmm. what is, what does it look like to have this happen to you? There's the traffic. Can you hear it? Can you hear it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're having a traffic jam thing today. I don't know what's going on, but um, all they did was reword two, two paragraphs of my story, and and some of it was quotes from Mozilla. So they intermingled what I had written. So it's kind of like um like a bad or lazy blogger would go to blogs.microsoft.com and say, "Hey, Microsoft announced something today," and I'm just going to rewrite it a little bit. <laughs> you know, it's going to be the same exact story. Wow. Hey, honey. Could you close the window, please? No, the window in here. Um, For the audio listeners, he's not talking to me. Yeah, <laughs> the, the other honey. Um, sorry if that was confusing to anybody. Uh, <laughs> I lost my track. So yeah, it was just really poorly done. Uh, it was. Um, it was. It was not like you know. 
in the sense that you could find similes for words and reword a, a sentence, I, I guess that's technically a transformation of some kind, but it's also the laziest, theftiest version of transformation. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, yeah, I guess they cited me, but they cited me with a one pixel high number down in the corner. Um, and no one would ever go to that uh, publication because why bother? You just got a good summary of it right here, you know? So how do I feel about this? I don't know. But this is the unf- this is the sad future. Yeah. And we keep talking about how fast everything's happening. We know this. It's like knowing something is coming is one thing, but then kind of seeing it actually happen so quickly is like, ugh, I don't know. It's a little, it's weird. So all I hope is that the AI steals from me a lot. Oh no, wait, I don't hope that. <laughs> I don't know. Keep your friends close and your AI closer. I don't know. Like, <laughs> <Yeah>. right. <laughs> the other, the other little fun thing, and this will never get solved. At least, maybe, or maybe it will. Maybe it will. Somebody tweeted out yesterday after the moment five went out and says, "I'm running Mac OS 14.3." Oh, someone like, you mean Jensen Harris, that piece of crap that used to <laughs> that destroyed Windows? That guy? Yes. I was, yeah. Hey, let me know. Let me let line. me tell you how I feel about him. <laughs> you ruined the punchline. No, that that's. Uh, that is unacceptable. That is completely unacceptable. And on a million levels, the, the, it, it is borderline unethical for someone for, who used to work for Microsoft those many years to write something like that, for one thing. But that, that, that honestly is not the issue. Ha, 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 version numbers. First of all, the, the thing he wrote is not the version. And you opted into a chain of updates that got you to where you are, B, C, None of that matters to anybody on earth except for three people who give crap about this stuff. To normal people, your Windows computer just updates automatically. You're always up to date. You're using a supported version of Windows 11. That's it. Nobody thinks about this. It's not any more complicated than what Mac OS does, period. But the the thing that makes it look complicated, he opted into. And he can go himself for this i this is the crappiest thing uh, let me think about it. this is one of the crappiest things <laughs> i've ever seen a, a, a person from microsoft do after leaving the co- it's it's not burning bridges it's it's being purposefully ignorant and then because of your position because people know who you are they'll think you made some kind of a point point. and honestly the only point he made was the same point elon musk made when he was like, oh, I can't, I can't log in with a Microsoft account, which is you're ignorant. That's it. You All you did was prove to the world that you're not, you're not just ignorant. You're like maliciously ignorant. You thought you were being funny. You thought you were making a point and you did, but it was a point about you, not a point about Windows. And I'm, that is unacceptable. On I, There's so much more to this, but I just know that he ruined Windows. That, that's the only thing you have to remember. And then for him to come out and say something like, stop, just stop. Didn't even let Thank me you get for letting the punchline. Like that. <laughs> ridiculous. That it, it's ridiculous. I'm, I'm trying hard not to write about it. It would be like Panos coming out and, and laughing. It's at the literally of, like Panos. Like the Surface out. Pro X. It's like, who would name it that? It's like, well, actually you did. And... Yeah. I would like to, you know, I, the the thing that we're on now, the path that we're on now, mm-hmm. the, the details have changed a lot. But they today they call it continuous innovation. Previous to that, it was Windows as a service, remember? Yep. But the thing it was before that was rapid innovation. No, mm-hmm. rapid, no. Oh, I just got the term. It's rapid something. It was rapid. The point was Windows 7, Windows 8, we had done these three-year monolithic updates. The world was changing. We can't do this anymore. We have to be able to uh, rev more quickly and be more agile. That was set up by the Windows 8 team. Mm -hmm. It resulted in Windows 8.1 a year later. Steve Ballmer, after Stanofsky had left, gave you know he started doing the the Windows talks like you know for a little while, and he talked about that. And and the way it was positioned at the time, because this would have been like November 2012, like right after Windows 8 shipped, he he. he implied or it seemed from the outside like now that he's gone Mm -hmm. we're going to start doing this new thing we're not going to move so slowly anymore but actually it was his team that started it so 
this crap that he hates, Jensen Harris, he was a key member of the team that started it. And that makes it that that's another thing that makes it just makes it like, like, are you kidding me? You're relying on people being ignorant about you, but yet still hero worshiping enough to think that this is funny or relevant or something. And it's like he he was in the room when they invented this. So I, I know. I'm sorry. I just I get it. Anything else you need to share? I didn't sleep well last I was night. Say, that came from a dark <laughs> No, place. actually, I slept great last night. But <laughs> just, you should see me on a bad morning. Um, no, just uh, Raphael forwarded me that yesterday, and I was, and I, I just, yeah, yikes. I would like, uh, just before we go, I'm sorry, I just to conclude this. I, w- I Honestly, I, I would like to speak to Steven Sanofsky right now. And, and I want to, I would like to get his opinions on what has happened in his wake, mm-hmm. right? These strategy changes. Because, you know, reading his book, um, I, opinions are obviously all over the map with him, but, um, he, but he was a leader of teams that created products, and many of them, uh, several versions of Office, two major versions of Windows. There was a, uh, an infrastructure, there was a plan, there was a offloading of responsibilities to responsible people. Things happened. Mm-hmm. And I, I look at the cluster that has occurred in his wake, and I wonder to myself, I bet he has some opinions, you know. Not sure. <laughs> like I'm, I'm curious. I, I don't know how much he could say, to be mm-hmm. honest. But his book is very, um, honestly, it's. It, I'm sure he's had to leave things out, but it, it, it it's shockingly transparent in a way. Um, I would love to hear his thoughts on this. And then I would have thought the same of Jensen Harris until about 12 hours ago, and then I saw that tweet and I was like, nope. <laughs> like this is no, no. But he, and he also falls neatly into my tweet. I challenge you to find a former Microsoft executive who was not using a MacBook Pro. And of course, his little tweet is about his Mac. Because you know, yep. of course it is. You know, in case you were wondering where the where their minds really were that whole time. <laughs> you know. Oh, God. Okay. Anyways, Maybe I hope just... they call the next update Windows 11.1. Uh... <laughs> just... no, or Windows, oh, you know, X version 11.2. Oh, God. I, I hope that the... I hope... Here's, yeah. I hope of one of two paths happen. This is what I hope happens. I don't know what it's going to happen. I hope they call it a, either 11.1, just something nice and clean, like a clean break, or they continue and be like, you know what? We're going to double down on this. It's going to be a Windows 11 24.h2 AI update moment seven. And like, just, just see I mean, how long. They can... <laughs> we have, they've never like publicly acknowledged the term moment, right? Like that's not a. No, I don't think it is. I don't, I don't think, think it's a public thing. No, I don't think it's ever been. I don't think ever. Like the the, the thing that makes that goofy is that that's a th- it is a thing really. And we look whatever whatever one thinks of names and whatever we get these monthly kind of updates that appear out of the either sometime they're part of KBs you know cumulative updates whatever. Mm-hmm. But we also get the thing we we're, we're getting now, which is that moment thing, which is in preview, and then will eventually be in you know stable right and don't those things need a name? <laughs> like you have a, you announced it, right? You, it, it is a big bundle of updates. A lot of which are coming through app updates or whatever, but don't, you know, we have a, we have this feature update, which is tw- the H2 thing. I mean, why don't you have like Q1, Q2, Q3 releases too? And those could be, those are moments. Like I, it's almost, it's almost like you promised you were only going to update once a year. And now if you announce this as an actual update, you would be violating some sort of a, Agreement you have with your enterprise customers or something. I'm, I'm just spitballing just, just it. Throwing that out there just a little bit. Yeah, I don't know. A little bit, a little bit. Hmm. Interesting. Apparently, they're con- still considering it, but until like they move to that, and it, and I don't even know if I announce it. It's like re-announce it or reaffirm the rapid I, rapid release. That was the name. Rapid release. Hmm. Yeah, eight one. You can go look it up. There's a couple. Remember there a couple of shows. Steve, Steve Ballmer. Yeah, wasn't that three Good. screens in a cloud? That was before that. That was, uh, that was... <laughs> I, I called that one three screens and a clod. <laughs> I said that. Well, at least it's Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Another thing about that guy. <laughs>